Okay, so here we got a surprise. The new quiet drive from uh, Ecotech Marine. This is the unboxing. I'm pretty excited about this. I didn't sleep maybe three hours last night. It looks like other people are excited about it too. They want to know more. Let me set this to stun. Of all times for the UPS driver to be chatty, I was trying super hard to be nice, but he's like, yeah, I know your sister, and I've been delivering in her area for 30 years, and I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. that, oh, that's swell, jeez. Can I have the package, please? <laughs> all right, so, again, nice bubble wrap job. Uh-oh. There's a note here from uh, Ecotech Marine. with somebody's personal contact information. If I have any questions, give them a call. That's, that's pretty slick. Nice benefit of being on the product test team. And here we go. It says beta prototype. You know what, let's show the back of the box here first. Uh, just as you would expect with the Operational modes in EcoSmart Live. You got uh, just some demonstrations of reef crest mode, lagoon, uh, random, gyre, short pulse, tidal swell, nutrient transport. I'm pretty familiar with the MP40 already, but I think what everyone is really excited about is how quiet is it? Uh, nice note here. Sean, enjoy. All right, so on to the goodie box. Looks very similar to the leaked photos that you may or may not have seen floating around the interwebs. Uh, we'll take a look at the setup guide here in a second. It's got some uh, zip ties and all the other normal stuff you'd see in an MP40. The driver is black. Very cool. I'm going to take the wet side out first. They've got the, the foam guard on there for your BTAs. Um, let's take a look here at the actual wet side. Eventually I'm probably going to want to take this apart, but I, maybe it's just me tripping, but it feels like it's a, a little bit heavier than the uh, standard MP40 or the old model. Yeah, I'm not going to take this apart until uh, we've had a chance to test drive it. Transformer for the power supply. Oh, I'm still shaking. I don't know if it's from the coffee, the cookie, or the lack of sleep. <laughs> okay. So I don't see any adjustable um, glass thickness on, on the dry side. Some members of the team were already commenting that that was going to be a thing of the past, so I'm actually very curious to see how that's going to work out. And lo and behold, that looks like the next thing in the package, or pretty much the last thing in the package. Okay, so we got some different thickness spacers. The first one, or the last one I showed you guys was quarter inch thick. Another one is for use with glass thickness over half inch. And then we got thin for use with glass thickness over a quarter inch. And like a dummy, I think mine's 3 eighths, but let me go grab a tape measure. 3 eighths thick for use with glass thickness quarter inch or less. That's not us. For use with thickness over half inch, not us. Thin for use with glass thickness over quarter inch and up to half inch. That's us. Okay. I'm going to see if there's any difference between these pads. 
just so everyone else can see the difference. I, I'm not going to use these other ones, but for the sake of thoroughness, let's check them all out. The thin spacer, this is for, uh, it's actually called a gasket for use with glass thickness over a half inch. This is actually just kind of, it looks like a sticker with a rubber pad. Thick spacer for use with thickness a quarter inch or less. I'm not using this, but it does look very similar um, to the one that I am going to use. So we'll skip that part. I'm going to show you guys this. On the dry side, there is these small little cutouts here that I'm imagining are places for the spacer to clip into. May not be able to pick it up on the, on the camera. And my assumption is correct. Those were snap points. I know you guys want to see me put it in the water, don't you? Me too. But I want to make sure there is nothing in here that would make me say, ooh, I wish I would have read that. Okay, we got a, a parts list. It does tell you there are good instructions here on um, where to place the pump and how to uh, attach the mounting tabs. Some instructions on uh, you know different tank thicknesses. The rest is pretty much standard stuff as I figured. <clears throat> Let's put this in the water. The guys at Ecotech are probably going, no, that's not the part that goes in the water. I'm freaking you guys out on purpose, right? I'm gonna put it right next to my other MP40. Guys at Ecotech Marine were telling me that uh, it would almost naturally stick to the side of the tank um, without the wet side in place, and I, I can attest to that. It doesn't stick, but it's uh, it's a I don't know what it is about the that rubber gasket, but I'm guessing that it's somehow, um, you know, like this, what, what's, what's that salamander that's got like that uh, atomic level suction or whatever. There's something molecular happening there. It's not like a sticky thing going on, but, well, you can read up on that phenomenon. But if you do take the wet side off, it is going to fall, so I wouldn't run it. Or, main or do maintenance on it. Who knows, maybe after some time it'll get seeded and uh, grow some legs or something. Now I was told that uh, this driver is still in the uh, beta stages and it only has a constant uh, speed on it. It will not work with EcoSmart Live, but as you can see, the hardware is finished. Now it's just software updates, and by the time it gets out to retail, um, I'm imagining that all the software bugs will be worked out, and I'll try to get another review posted with all the different modes in EcoSmart Live. Drum roll, please. Don't worry, that was just the transformer. Okay, we got power. Okay, so we have it running. Oh my goodness, that is quiet. Okay, I am going to shut off all the other pumps and really see what this baby can do. Okay, those radions are making some fan noise. So I'm gonna shut the radions off and turn on just a, a, a T5 actinic. 40% more flow, 90% quieter. I have everything off in the house, no fans, no pumps. We're going to ramp this up. 
that's at a hundred percent excellent okay for comparison right here in the same place I'm gonna turn on the MP40 that is not quiet drive right next to it and turn this one off so I'm gonna unplug the quiet drive plugging in the old MP40 okay there's the old MP40 at a hundred percent one more time quiet drive actually gonna plug the quiet drive in at the same time as the old MP40 I'm plugging the old MP40 and now this is just the quiet drive what a humongous difference oh my goodness I'm in heaven this isn't exactly like pulse Doppler or continuous wave Doppler but I got my hand in front of the old MP40 and in front of the new one I'm gonna try and keep the same tension on my fingers this is the old one uh, excuse me the new one this is the old one I can feel a considerable difference the old MP40 feels like it's not even on. <laughs> I'm, I'm being ridiculous, but goodness gracious, this is a lot more stinking flow. Oh, it's like night and day difference. So they're claiming that they measured this at 40% more flow than the old MP40. I mean, I'm going to have to trust the numbers, but... I would have guessed it was more than double. Okay, the last bit that I'm going to do here is a comparison of the different dry side. Um, here we have the old style MP40. There's a lot of light here. Sorry about that. But you can see the spacer that they used. There was different um, thicknesses and there was a pin selector. Here you can feel it that would help you decide which thickness this dry site would run on. Here's um, the detail of the housing. A lot more fins on there and here's the new one side by side. So less fins, it feels a little more sleek and then the spacer on this one they give you three options in the current packaging on uh, which spacer to use. I found this way more intuitive um, than trying to line line the the cord up with some drawing on the spacer on the old style. I think this is a really nice improvement. Um, the dry side clips in to the spacer, or the spacer clips into the dry side, I should say, and it just I don't know. It just feels more solid and like a, a better quality product. Not not that this wasn't. Um, it's just advancement and the quality shows in this next gen um, dry side. Now I'm going to review the differences between the wet sides for you guys. So again, this is the old MP40 and this is the new Quiet Drive dry side. This is the new wet side kind of has more of a taper down towards the front than the old style algae not included on the new one didn't um, one thing I did notice is the impeller does move a little bit back and forth front to back I talked to um, one of the engineers at Ecotech and they they said that that's perfectly normal and not to worry about it uh, they've been running these at full speed for a while and um, I'm not sure if it was uh, by design or side effect but they said it's a non-issue and um, these are in full production now so I, I trust it um, yeah I mean I'm too afraid to take this apart but there's not much to it 
other than the uh, the the front of this looks like it nozzle that it sticks out in the front this gate has more of a nozzle to it than the old style whereas the old style is more flush if you guys want to see whatever else is coming out if and when um, I'm hoping that uh, we'll get to do more fun stuff like this so if this is your first time uh, checking out my channel please hit the subscribe button give me a comment give me some feedback let me know what you guys want to see next um, give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down and check out some of the other videos some of the other reviews there's also some relaxing stuff to watch too peace